The law has changed, but a lot of undocumented immigrants who could be applying for help to stay and work here legally are not doing that. Ashley Roberts is live at the state office building with how two organizations are reaching out and trying to spread the word. Ashley. Jason, experts say some undocumented immigrants are afraid to come forward for help out of fear of what may happen and how their information may be used. But they say the DACA program has several benefits. Today, here at the state office building, two nonprofits, Pillsbury United Communities and the Advocates for Human Rights, launched the No Fear campaign. They announced their efforts this morning and were also joined by a woman who has been approved under the program. The goal, they say, is to increase the quality of life for members of the immigrant community through education, help them find jobs and buy homes. Three years after applying, I have realized that I made the best decision of my life. It never affected my family. Talking and going through the process never had to do with my parents. It was a one-on-one -on -one thing. Giving over my fears and requesting DACA benefits was the best thing that I could have ever done. The DACA program offers the ability to apply for a two-year work permit for people who arrived to the U.S. before their 16th birthday, were under the age of 31 on June 15, 2012, and have a clear record free of felonies and serious misdemeanors. They must also have in, be enrolled in school or have a high school diploma or a GED. Ashley, what are they saying about the DACA program here in Minnesota? Is it working? Is it a success? What kind of applications are they seeing? Well, they tell us that about 6,000 people have applied for this program. The application fee is around $460, though, and that includes a filing fee for the program. All right. Very interesting. Ashley, thank you.